everybody and welcome to ESO Daily. I am your host, Mr. Craven. All right, guys. So I, I said I was always going to do this video and it's just about time that I do it and kind of give a breakdown of why I prefer the Master Bow over the Maelstrom. Not saying Maelstrom is bad. Please don't get me wrong on that. But a lot of people were like, oh, you, you, it's Maelstrom bow all the way. It's Biss and whatever. And I'm like, Ugh, it's not Biss. And second, I much prefer Master Bow. So today I'm going to kind of explain why I prefer the Master Bow over Maelstrom. Kind of go over a few things from um, Static and try to break down um, so we don't get any corrupted variables uh, as, as limited as possible and kind of show you guys and illustrate what what you can anticipate what you see because Maelstrom's a great bow especially with ads right it's really really great I mean it's, it's strong but master pr produces more single target result and at the end of the day, if I'm on a boss fight, I would I want more single target damage. Just kind of my preference. But hey, to each their own. And I'm not debating that. So, but today I'll be going over that. So first thing I want to go ahead and do is just kind of show you the differences between the two bows. Okay, so we, we have both sharpened here. And we're going to go over the Maelstrom bow first. Okay. What does the Maelstrom Bow do? It increases the damage volley deals by 161 each tick. The bonus increases by 56 every time volley ticks. So what you get is a scaling effect, right? With Maelstrom. Increases Morning Fred. It increases the damage. Just, just keeps, it just keeps scaling it up while it's active. So it's really, really powerful in that application. Very, very good. It's a great bow, no doubt about it. Um, but when I take a look at the master bow, what that does is increases my weapon damage by 301 against targets affected by my poison arrow. So once I infect something with a poison arrow, all of my ability, all of my damaging effects are scaled to 301. So it's basically like putting a hunting's rage in my hand. An entire set bonus in the palm of my hand towards all of my damaging effects, not just one ability. So that's why I really like the Master Bow. So uh, I'm just going to kind of give you guys a demonstration here of the damage, uh, different damages that you see associated. So um, first thing I want to go ahead and do, I'm just going to do um, a jab. Just simple, a simple jab, right? And um, the bleed, my twin slash. So first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to, I'm not going to hit the poison injector, but I'm going to hit the twin slash and hit the jabs. And you'll see 1768. And the 3032 below, right? So that's prior poison injector being applied, right? That's prior. Okay. So now when I apply the poison injector, do the same thing. Wait, do I have the maelstrom? Yeah, I have maelstrom on, no wonder. Okay. I guess we'll go over this. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead, drop the endless hail. Endless hail, you're starting to see scale, right? Keep scaling. Damage modifier. There it keeps going, keep going, keep going. Okay. So it just keeps it keeps scaling up. Right? We can see almost about that 2,000 peak at the end, 22, 24. So you start sealing it, right? It just keeps scaling. Very, very powerful, right? It's very, 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 very powerful. Just keeps going and keeps going and it keeps scaling up. Okay. 
And as long as you don't let it drop, it just keeps going. That's what makes it very powerful. Okay? So you kind of get the idea. You know, you don't let it drop off. You just kind of keep applying it, getting those damage ticks. You'll see the, the application, but the ticks keep applying. A scaling. Okay, morning, Heli. So it does, it gets really high, like the damage output. It looks really good. So all of a sudden, though, w that's one effect. It doesn't that doesn't change any of my other effects. The master bow does, right? So you guys seen like, and I'll do it again. So when I do this, and I start hitting, you'll see that seventeen sixty eight. Same same um, application, right? Just, it is. But, all of a sudden, I hit that poison injector. I hit the twin slash. I come over here. Now we're at 18. Right? And our poison now is ticking at 5,000 on crit. Okay. So, as long as this is in effect... You see that 1883. But the damage is applied to every ability in every attack. Meaning my weaves get in, uh, increased. Everything's getting increased with the Master Bow. Okay, not just one ability. So I have, even though uh, uh, Maelstrom Bow is great because it keeps scaling up so long as it doesn't drop off. And it does that, it only applies to one effect. That's all it does. Maelstrom, though, will apply to every effect. It'll, it, it, the, 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 I mean, the master, Maelstrom will scale as long as it doesn't drop off. It just keeps going up and up and up. But the master, so long as I go ahead and I apply that poison injector is still always applied. All of my effects go up, right? All of my damaging effects. So if I have any derated effects down, everything's scaling higher. Not just one ability, all abilities. And for single target, that's very relative. It's like 300. It's like, like I said, it's like putting uh, hunting's, the fifth piece, a bonus of hunting's rage in the palm of my hand. It's what it is. So it's not to say that Maelstrom is a bad bow. I just prefer the master. Because I know on single target, I'm getting more than one effect to be applied. Right? I'm scaling all damage type, all of it, as long as poison injector is applied, all of it. So I can go ahead, take every ability, and apply that damage, right? It's all getting scaled, all of it. So, like, let's go ahead and do a um, reset. So, if when you take a look at the damage meter up here. Just twin slash, let's do three and one. So we'll do a twin slash and, um, well, the poison injector will be applied. Well, let's do it this way. So I'm going to put on the maelstrom. Okay. So I'm going to add this, add this, hit this three times. Okay. So we see about 10, six just on that at its peak, right? So we see about 10.6 on its peak. All right. Apply the master. Same thing, three. So I'm going to go ahead, hit, hit three times. We got about 10.6 again at a peak. But the damage is known, notice. So without the poison injector, biting is dealing two eight, um, 1768 base. Once again, add, and now 1883 base. See how it's scaling up? So it's scaling up. Same thing with the twin slash. We look. 3,032, 3,032, 3,032, right? 
add the poison injector. Three thousand and one. See three thousand. So it's going up by a little over a hundred per effect. Per effect. So per effect, I'm getting an additional about a hundred per per effect. Once again, for single target, that to me is relevant because I can count. It's like okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight abilities that are being applied. A different effect right that's 800 not including my weave so that's just 800 additional damage per rotation on each hit and that adds up so that's why I prefer it like I, I'm not debating and I and I always tell people I don't debate the maelstrom's bow I don't I don't feel like it's a bad bow at all double clicked Especially when it keeps scaling. So it just keeps going up. And it's good. It's great. It's a great bow. And for AoEs, significant. It is significant, especially in group situations. Not saying it isn't. But in a single target, it only applies one effect. And for me, that's relative. So I'm getting only one effect versus Master, I'm getting everything applied. Everything's getting increased when this goes up. All damage modifiers are applied. Okay? All damage modifiers are applied. So, to me, that's relevant. Okay? So, that's why I just wanted to do a brief video on this and explain that. It's like, okay, I'm not debating Maelstrom's bow. I don't prefer it. Okay, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. It's like it's a preference thing. You know, I know I'm getting 301 extra weapon damage, right? Well, I, I don't know if that is reflected in the tooltip. Let's check that out. 1998, right? Now let's check it. No, it's not. So it's, uh, it's not reflected in the character sheet at all. Okay. Now, this will only go in and it will stay st like a static amount versus Maelstrom. So, there's no scaling effect. So, when I apply this, drop this, you can see the max amount it's going to deal is 1,173. That's a loss in comparison to Maelstrom in this effect. Okay? So, in on the Maelstrom side, when I apply... I can get out of combat. All right. And I drop it. Okay, it keeps scaling. It's noticeable. That's noticeable how the damage is inc incrementally, inc incrementally, incrementally increasing. It's very noticeable. And it's a lot of damage. It is. But it only applies to one set of fact. It's just the way it is. So it's like, okay, great. It's powerful. It's awesome. Actually, it's awesome, especially in it with mobs. It's a killer bow. It's an awesome bow. But if I'm looking at single target, I want to affect not just one ability. I want to try to get the most out of all of my effects. And that's where Maelstrom comes in or Master comes in for me personally. Notice I, you know, put it in, you know, quotations. Should always open with the brutality after the power of light, but okay. So as long as that's up, I'm getting an entire you know extra on every ability on all abilities. You know, it's just like that's my preference. 
So I always tell people, you know, Maelstrom's great. I'm not saying like one of these, one of the two is better than the other. And I'm not saying that. I'm saying, okay, I'm aware Maelstrom applies its effect, how it, it keeps applying, how it keeps scaling. It's great. It's a great bow. But Master Bow, I'm getting 301 for all abilities, including light attacks. So if I do a, or, or a heavy attack even. So if I do a heavy attack, I'm getting 16, 6, 16, 29, 16, 28. Okay. Now I'm getting 1736, 1734. And if my rotation keeps up, I'm making up well more than just one effect. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm pointing out. So as soon as this is up, it's going to affect everything I push out during that time. And that's significant. That is very, very significant. So, am I, is Maelstrom better? Is Ma Master better? I wouldn't say that. I just would say, you know, like, especially if any, any encounter has AoEs or mobs, I feel that's where Maelstrom definitely has its, its shine, its, its definite presence. But on single target, I feel like I personally like the Master. Why? Because I know I'm putting Poison Injector on that target. I already know it. I already know poison injectors going on said target. So when that's being applied, all of a sudden, boom, all of my effects and abilities go scaling up. So it's like, it's no brainer for me. It's like, okay, here we go. Boom. All effects scale up. It's like, like I said, the, the one the way you want to look at it is basically by putting an extra hunting's rage um, in the palm of your hand. Hunting's rage is like 299. We're getting 301 with master. It's like putting an extra, you know, set bonus in the palm of your hand. That's what it is. You know, and if people want to debate that, that's fine, whatever. But the two are different. Now, even on some bills, I prefer Asylum. So on my, um, on my, uh, on my Nightblade, I, if I'm uh, with my Plaguebringer build, I prefer the Asylum bow. Because I can get a shitload of damage from um, my lethal arrow. Or not lethal arrow. For, well, yeah, that one too. Okay. Let me get that bow out. Okay. Go for sharpen. So, the asylum bow is what I prefer on that one because I know I'm going to use acid spray right so I'm going to put this on I'll demonstrate that really quick all right and this is the one I use I use the lethal arrow so I already know it's going to apply to poison ejector and I go with the acid spray because I'm going to get dot. I don't want a spammable. I, I want a dot effect. So basically, it kind of goes like this. Um, we'll put this over here just for now, just to kind of demonstrate what's going on. So, for example, if I hit the lethal arrow, it's dealing 10 9, right? You guys see that? Crit, 7 2, base, 7 2. Okay. All of a sudden, I hit the acid spray. 10, 9, base. David, what's up? All of a sudden, I get over a 3,000 hit difference. Well over it. Right? So this becomes kind of my spammable. I'm using all dot effects. Same thing with poison injector. Hit the poison injector. You guys will see the tick. 1, 3, 7, 4. 1, th or Two, uh, 2006 to crit. So 1378, 1378, 2006, 9. Okay. So all of a sudden I hit this, hit this ability. All of a sudden you see it, uh, uh, you know, incrementally, uh, well, you got two effects being applied. So, 
But yeah, it, it increases the damage, uh, the, the next direct damage. Okay, so this direct damage is 2821. Now 4-2. Morning, Calvin. Morning, morning, everybody. I hope everybody slept well. So that's very significant. Once again, 2 8 4 2. Right? 7 2. If I can get without a crit. 10 9. Now, on my Plague Bringer build, I can hit a 45k lethal arrow. 45k lethal arrow on my plague bringer it's it's insane i can hit 45k damage per effect on the blade so i prefer it i prefer asylum on my blade you know maelstrom's great it's a great bow not debating it it's just not the best bow that everybody believes it to be because each of the bows are really great they're all really good but how you apply the effect is the most important aspect and what you're going to lose. Once again, it's about your loss and your gain. It's just that simple. But I do prefer the Master over Maelstrom every day of the week because I know when I apply that effect, it's going to scale all of my abilities. Okay? Doesn't, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to read tooltips. You know, it definitely does not take rocket scientists to read tooltips. So let's go in here also to the power of light, how that's going to be affected. So power of lights, max copy currently with my the, this configuration, like test configuration is uh, 2, 8 and 19, 5. OK, I don't know if this will change. We'll see. So all of a sudden, let's go ahead. Hit the poison injector. Go back into the tooltip. Doesn't scale up higher. Okay, so it's not reflected in tooltip at all. The effect isn't. Okay, so let's see what Power of Light does. I think it has a... Okay. Just without the effects being applied or whatever. Well, I guess that's not going to be a really good way to show it. Okay. Okay. We'll open the FTC for that. Okay. So, I'm going to hit Poison Injector, Power of Light, Spam until it blows. Okay. Throw up the metrics. Wait for it to... Okay, so power of light, damage output, 6991 and 24. Okay, same thing. So it blows. Okay, you'll see the previous six nine nine one two four. Now here's the difference. Went up almost a uh, thousand. You see how that worked? So for people to say it's not relative. Good fucking luck. There's an extra thousand damage from the master between Maelstrom and Master right here on the metrics. Okay? It's right there. Okay? If I go back, here it is on this one. All right? So people are going to tell me, and let's take a look at the biting jabs really quick. So 3-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 4-2, 
four, five. Please don't, for the trolls, the meta players, and the stupid min-maxers, Morty, who brought the coffee? I'm drinking some, Papa. <laughs> I'll, here, I'll take, a, I'll take a sip for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so for the, the supposed min-maxers and trolls and meta players and acting like I don't know what I'm talking about, I test. I do test. Maelstrom's great. It's a great bow. It applies, especially in, in group situations, in ad situations. Very powerful. But in single target application, I want more, a little bit more on the single target. So I prefer the master bow over Maelstrom. I just do. And on the blade, I prefer the asylum bow. That's what I want to get people at. I don't want people to feel like um, that one bow is necessarily better than the other. They're all really good bows. And they can apply all these different type of effects. So it's like... For me personally, I'm just like, okay, look, man, there's a lot of people who don't have these weapons, period. Okay, so I always try to build around that to begin with or accessibility. Asylum's really easy to get. So I really like the fact that Asylum can come perfected or non-perfected and non-perfected is pretty easy to get to obtain and people can, you know, utilize that. So I really like that. Master can be a little bit whatever for Vet DSA and Maelstrom can, is very for the average player is not very friendly you know it's a very you know um tedious place and if you have a thing called li a life more than likely you're not going to obtain it so it that's practical it's very practical so i always tell people it's a perk it's not a necessity it's just a perk you know so don't get bent out if you don't have it if you don't have it don't worry about it and that's why i customize builds to optimize performance for most people, for majority of players. And that's what I prefer. So, but in this application, we can see the increase, the incremental, the, inc the how the effect is going to be affected per ability. So Maelstrom, great. It's really powerful. It will, in it even with the proc, the Endless Hail will not exceed the Maelstrom's bow's Endless Hail. It won't right so if you want more for out of the endless hell maelstrom is still very powerful but on a single target application when i'm looking at all effects being applied i much prefer the master okay unless i'm running nightblade and i'm running Playbringer, and then I, I use asylum or dk2 dk with asylum is pretty sick as well so uh any or even um um warden can be really sick with its build so any build that kind of kind of uses like a poison dot rotation build which they all can do even uh stamp sork even this one i i wouldn't prefer it on the, this one because the physical damage is just kind of apparent so i would in on uh stamplar i would, would much rather use a maelstrom or a master versus asylum but it's the only class i could probably say that but um Everybody, everybody else could benefit from Asylum very, very much so. So to me personally, this is why I do it. So when people ask me, oh, well, no, um, Master is only for PvP. Bullshit. 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 Okay, more bullshit. They all copy one person and then they act like they know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about majority of them don't know what the fuck they're talking about they just copy somebody they take it as law the like it's the law and that's the way it is and it's not okay it's not guys it just isn't okay so once again preference it's about your preference and if you don't have it don't worry about it do not worry about it at all okay don't get all hemmed up and be like, oh, it's this and oh, it's that. And it's like, don't worry about it. Okay. That's, and when I test, I try to, like I said, minimize variables. Like, so right here, for example, I want to crit very less than average. So I didn't put up my crit value. Why? Because I want to always go to what? The static, then add any other modifier like uh, buffs, critical values, and such. Other variables can be corrupting your test results. So that's why static has always been the, the, the way elites have always tested in the past because they want to reduce corrupted 
corrupting variables. Why? Because other additive variables will be applied regardless. And then when, with a Twitch-based game, we want to minimize human error in our testing. So the, the, we want to minimize human error and corrupted variables, Cor you know, variables that will corrupt our results. Can't wait for you to go over the two uh, H version of the uh, three weapons. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I'll and I will do that um, with the two H's probably next week. I'll go over a couple of these weapons, copy and paste guys. That's what they are. They're not content creators. They're content copiers is what I like to call them. They're not content creators. They're content copiers. If they knew what they were talking about, it'd be a whole different ball game. I promise you, but they don't, they just cut, cut and copy and paste. So master bow, can you use it in PVE? Fuck yes. <laughs> yes, yes, and yes, and yes, you can use it. It's actually a lot easier to get than Maelstrom as well. So if you get a good group, you can learn the mechanics. I walked two people through it Sunday that never did it before. So, but two of us already had done it. So I taught him like cheese stuff and the other guy, we were going over how mechanics work. We didn't get a time score or anything, but we got done in a little less than two hours. And I was pretty happy with that, especially just learning things and walking over stuff. So it was kind of cool. So, you know, it's, it's fine. It, it's fine. I mean, it, it is what it is, but honestly, the way I look at it, it's, you know, it's a lot easier. So if you want to get master bow, if you get a, a patient people, I'm not always the most patient person, by the way, um, and who will teach you. It's not hard to learn. There's very good videos, and it's a lot easier than Maelstrom to obtain this bow, and it's still very powerful. Not to say that Maelstrom isn't. I'm not saying that because if you were in AOE situation with a bunch of mobs, Maelstrom will always beat the other two hands down, okay? There's no debate about that. None. No one can debate that. I can't even debate that. But in single target application, master will upscale every effect versus one. And that is why I prefer it. It's just that simple. All right, guys, I'm going to get going here. If anybody has any questions or comments about the Maelstrom, Master, or Asylum bow, please post below. I want to thank you guys for watching today. And as always... Have a nice day.